have to suck it up. I have had a prayer on my heart all day today, and it has been an absolute awesome, awesome blessing. So very grateful for that. Um, just been thinking about how God is so good, no matter what you're going through. And I know there's so many people struggling with all kinds of emotions, all kinds of circumstances and things going on today. But God, that is the amazing thing. He's always working. He's always working. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yay. Mm. Gosh. So, I, before we get started, because I'm just ready to get go in and just start praying. Um, the first thing I wanted to do was share this reading. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, so we talk about the spiritual life and uh, I feel like I'm so, I don't know about you, but I'm just ready. I'm in the spirit. I'm ready to pray. So Lord help us here. So I just want to read this to get us into that space. This is from a book. Um, it's called Open Passages, Doors and Windows to the Soul. So this is just a brief little paragraph. It's, a, it's titled Sacred Core. And it reads, I have been told that deep within me is a godly essence, under coverings galore. And to reach this holy center, I must expose the veils and let them fall. But I can't discount each layer wrapped around the sacred core, where the layers within the layers, where dwells divinity inside of all. It's like we have to keep we have to keep tear, taking off all these veils, all these things that are covering up our light within. We have this beautiful divinity within us and we have to keep peering through and getting rid of all this stuff, removing them just so we can see clearly, so we can see the light, right? But at the same time, we cannot discount each of these layers because these layers are somewhat important. And if we take this from a psychology perspective, these layers, these things have to do with experiences that we've had, how we've gotten to the point that we are at in our lives, right? So let's just read it one more time through. I've been told, again, this is called sacred core. I've been told that deep within me is a godly essence under coverings galore. And to reach this holy center, I must expose the veils and let them fall. Whoosh, just added that. But I can't discount each layer wrapped around the sacred core or the layers within the layers where dwells divinity inside of all. So what does that mean? We are digging deeper to get to this light, to get to this, this, this beautiful place of oneness that Jesus spoke about in the garden of Gethsemane. We are digging deeper to get to this a space of oneness where we're experiencing oneness with God and essentially oneness with ourselves. And if we really want to go into what Jesus spoke about, this is oneness with all. This is my oneness with you, your oneness with me and with your family, with your friends, with your neighbors, with all. This is an essential oneness of, among God's creation, ultimately. But to be able to peer back all these layers of junk that we've been carrying, that we've collected, we cannot discount them. We cannot totally just discard them like they never existed. In psychology, 
we talk, we talk about that you have to go through, you can't go around it. You have to go through something. If you want healing, you need to go through it. Um, we hear even biblical stories in the Old Testament, especially I think about, um, was it David crossing, uh, cro crossing over these waters he had to go through. Um, so it's just really essential that we learn to go through our stuff. We don't hide from anything because when we're hiding, then we start kind of going into that, that kind of dark space, right? It's when we allow, allow everything to be exposed to light that we can walk through it. And we might find that we don't look at it the same. Our perception of something that maybe was a dark part of us or maybe a um, uh, 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 you know, whatever your story is, we all have all kinds of things in our stories, whatever it is, you might see it differently. You might look at it and say, you know what? It wasn't a failure. It was a learning experience on this path to success that God is leading me to. God needs to purify me first. What is it? He needs to get rid of all the junk that I've been carrying, the spiritual, emotional baggage, whatever it may be. I mean, there are so many different ways to look at everything, but the truth is when you're not looking through the eyes of, the, of spirit, then you're not really looking through the eyes of wisdom. So to be able to walk this walk, you have to walk this walk through a space of grace and the Holy Spirit is, is grace filled. It's full of God, <laughs> God himself. So we, we need to be able to be courageous and bold enough to walk through and not tiptoe around and avoid. Because guess what? The things that you avoid, they do not disappear. They do not go away. They stay with you. And we're seeing all these things erupt in the world today, showing us all these things that have been buried and hidden, and they are now getting exposed to the light. And, you know, it's amazing because we've often seen, we know spiritually, a lot of times chaos precedes these glorious, beautiful breakthroughs and amazing miracles and just beautiful uh, chains and, and emancipations and, and liberations and all kinds of things. So whatever it is that you're struggling, struggling with spiritually, understand that we are in a significant point. Historically, you are in a significant point historically in your life that a breakthrough is right here. This miracle is right here. This change and everything, everything spiritual, everything divine, everything of God starts truly from within, with inside of you because the kingdom is within, right? So understand that whatever it is that you see around you, whatever it is you're going through, whatever it is you feel, you are at an opportunity. You are at, a, you are at this point. It's like this crossroads. How am I going to choose to handle this? Am I going to walk through? Am I going to acknowledge that, yes, I don't feel good. I don't, you know, whatever it is, I, I don't know how I feel about this. Are you going to acknowledge, you know what? I didn't handle that right. Are you going to acknowledge, you know what? I wish I would have done this. Are you going to acknowledge every bit of you? every bit that is a part of you, or are you going to try to discard some parts of you because they didn't matter, they weren't relevant? Maybe you got angry, but you know what? That was a part of your experience. So we walk through it, we acknowledge it, and we expose it to the light. The light is that wisdom, the light is God, the light is Christ, the, the light within us, okay? So let's get ready to pray with that in mind that there's so much light within. There's so much light around. We just have to choose to see it, choose to recognize God within, God around. Oh, hey, Maida, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, walk through it. That is it. You know, we expose it to the light. When we expose it to the light, God can heal it. That is where God can use us to heal. I mean, really, truly, we're supposed to be able to do everything Jesus did, right? So for us to be able to be a healer in our own life, for God to be using us or for God to be working through us, we need to allow ourselves to be the light. 
And that light is wisdom. That light is recognizing everything. And we might see everything totally different when we come at it from a place of spirit. We might be able to choose to see it through eyes of grace. We might be able to see it as a learning experience. We might say, oh, all right, moving on. There's something else or it's something bigger or it's timing, whatever it is. But it's how we choose to look at things. And it's choosing to look at it choosing to go through it, choosing to look at it and our perception. And when you are truly in the spirit, when you're truly allowing God's spirit to guide you, the Holy Spirit within you, then, amen, then you're able to see it for what it is with grace. You know, in the Bible, they say to the pure, everything is pure. Understand that. So there, there's just something. There's just something about seeing things from the in the eyes of God, from the eyes of spirit, from the eyes of, of pureness. There's it comes. You can recognize things in grace. You can recognize things in truth. And there is so much hope. There's so many possibilities, and it's just amazing. So. If you do happen to have prayer requests, I should have typed this in, but I don't know how to do it now. I was going to say, if you have any prayer requests, feel free to put them in. If you pop in, um, hopefully that'll be relayed if anybody pops in later um, so that we can, um, you know, pray. But we'll get started just because I just feel this urge to pray all over me. And, and um, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Lord, we just give you thanks because you are so incredibly good. It is Thursday. Oh, and what a reminder to be thankful, to be grateful to the light, the goodness that reigns inside of us and is all around us. Even when we can't see in the midst of darkness, in the midst of shadows, in the midst of whatever it is that's going on in the world, the purging, the releasing of all this stuff so that our purity, our light can shine through our essence, all that awesomeness. You know, it's just, Lord, we just give you thanks. We just give you thanks because you are shining so bright in our lives. So we ask you right now to place your Holy Spirit upon us and just, just put your hand, your right hand on us and help us right now to open our spiritual eyes, our spiritual senses so that we can recognize the light in whatever it is that's going on in our lives. And if there's chaos, whatever it may be, um, Lord, we're asking you to reveal, reveal yourself, reveal your light, reveal our truth. Our truth is your truth. Reveal our light in the midst of everything, in the midst of the worries, the problems, the conflicts. Reveal our light so that we can see clearly and truly above Above everything that we learn as human beings, above everything that we learn in our cultures, in our practices, but truly from the eyes of spirit, from truly from the eyes of God. Lord, we just ask you to do a great work in us so that we can be ultimately connected, just like Jesus talked about in the garden of I, I and them you, uh, and, and you and me and this whole, this whole cycle, this connection of oneness, oneness feeling around, Lord. We just ask that you use us right now so that we're all part of this beautiful prayer. We're all part of this oneness, this union with you in love, in light, in the most in the most sacred way that honors you and who you truly are, your character to the core. We give you thanks, Lord. We give you thanks for any time we, we've dealt with conflicts, any time we've dealt with problems, any time we've had to really take a look at ourselves and our actions, any times we've had to take a look at, 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 at situations, relationships within our families, within our friendships. Whatever it may be, Lord, everything that we see gives us an opportunity to look to you, to look at our reflection in you and to look at light, look at grace, look at goodness, look at possibilities, look at purity and how it can come from the most unexpected situation.
situations, the most unexpected people, the most unexpected relationships, as you've shown us historically, you are always bypassing everything that we do. Lord, we give you thanks. You are just Hallelujah, you are so wonderful. You are so beautiful. God, you are so beautiful. Your creation is so magnificently glorious. And it's just so uh, breathtaking to the eyes, the spiritual eyes, to the soul, to the heart. And as we look upon, you know, these flowers, these trees, the sunset, the sunrise, the grass, the dirt, the people walking down the street, children, dogs wagging their tails, as we look at the beauty that you've created, it's everywhere. And the darkness never ever overcomes the light no matter what we think you always reveal the light right when we right when we think oh, i don't know oh, you show us there is hope lord and we give you thanks there are so many possibilities. Anything is possible with God. There is so much hope. There is so much light. There is so much goodness. There is so much, so much truth. Hallelujah. There is so much truth reigning within each and every single one of us. There is so much truth. Anything is possible. There's so much truth. There is so much goodness and light and purity and all these possibilities and grace. My God, that is the truth. And the truth makes you free. The truth makes you free. The truth liberates your soul. The truth emancipates you when you recognize that you are light. When you recognize just how connected you are in this relationship, this oneness with God through Christ. This truth makes you free when you recognize that God's ways are far high and above our human being ways and the way we like to put him in boxes. Oh, oh my gosh, hallelujah, Lord. And we are just so freed, so emancipated, so liberated in our souls when we realize there is hope, when we realize there is such light, such goodness, and it's all around us, it's all within us, and it's it's in it's hidden in the places that seem the darkest. It's hidden in those places that seem the darkest. It is, it is planted and buried this light just waiting, just waiting to be seen, to be revealed, just to spread its light amongst everything. Lord, we just give you thanks. We're asking you to look into our hearts right now and start helping us, assisting us to to face all these things, to acknowledge all these layers of, of stuff and junk and whatever that is in within us, Lord. And we are just asking you to reveal, reveal our light more and more so that we can actually see the light that is in situations, that is in circumstances, that are in that are in relationships with it, with everyone. We are asking you just to help peel these layers out so that we can see the light of possibilities of unexpectedness of of really just changes of going to new lands going on new journeys of being led by your holy spirit taken in all these directions to follow the way that your spirit is leading us hallelujah my god lord you have called us to do amazing things amazing things. If we look in the eyes of spirit, amazing things might be things that somebody else might not understand. Something that somebody else might not really, really get all together, but there might be a group of other people who will recognize that God has called you or I or any of us to do something because this was directed to be able to help this group of people, these people, whatever it may be, Lord. But we've seen that what you do is you call people to to do different things, to go different places, to do things that are 
out of the box, that are out of the norm. You call people to go and make a way out of no way because you use them as your spirit is within them. You call people, you use people, Lord, to do miraculous things, to do difficult things, to change to change things, to, to make changes in laws, in culture, to, cha to change the way that love reigns so that people will start recognizing how your glorious love, God, how you reign over everything, how you reign over our the limitations that human beings create, the way that we just kind of, we kind of, we kind of limit everything to what we know. And Lord, you're so much bigger than any of us. You're so much bigger than, than, than our country. You're so much bigger than all of this, Lord. Your ways, your wisdom is so much more grand. You are so, my God, Lord, forgive us for all those times that we underestimate you. Forgive us for all those times that we try to jump ahead of you and jump ahead of your timing. Forgive us for all those times where we try to, we think we know what's going on and we try to lead it. We try to roll with it, Lord. Help us to truly follow your spirit and be bold and courageous enough to have faith. Hallelujah. Help us to be bold and courageous enough to have hope to take a first step, to be patient, to trust your timing and your ways, to trust even when it doesn't look the way we thought. Help us to be bold and courageous to let you weed out all the junk that's interwoven in between your path of light, whatever it may be, as, as, as maybe strange to the human mind as it might seem. Whatever it is, Lord, help us to get so close to you, so intimate with you, to know you so intimately, know you so deeply, so truly, so purely in our hearts that we can just follow you and, and, and follow you and be like little children with that awe and wonder, that openness to trust you to trust you however long it takes as you take us on our journeys, you call us to whatever it is that you're doing. Lord, help us to be, to be like those children, have that awe, that wonder, that boldness, that co courageousness. Help us to just be in that space where we're letting that light peer through. We're walking through all of it all of our stories, all of our baggage, all of our junk and walking straight into the light. However unexpected it might look, however long it might take, however the journey is, Lord, help us to trust in you, to lean not to our own understanding. Help us to trust in you in our hearts, in everything. Help us to get out of our heads and in our understandings and our logic, because that is how we limit you. Help us to truly get in our hearts. Help us to get into the spirit. Help us to just surrender ourselves to you and your ways, as mysterious as they may be. Lord, we just see, we've seen so many examples of you in, in, in the Bible. We've heard so many stories. We've heard so many stories and examples of how other people had to walk out of their comfort zones and they did amazing things. They were, they were used in amazing ways and they were humbled and it was just, just, just a blessing to be used by God. And you're still working God today. You're still working. We give you thanks. You're working and you're still working in unexpected ways. You're still working all these stories together and we are part of the story. So when we can't see ahead or know the future or know uh, what's about to come, help us to trust you and really be bold and walk in faith. Help us to do whatever it is we are called to do. As controversial as it might be, Maybe it's something that is not expected in your family, or maybe it's something that's not expected in your neighborhood or your church, whatever. I mean, it's God, just whatever it is for each and every single person that connects and resonates with this prayer, Lord, we ask that you really connect with them through your Holy Spirit and give them the wisdom. Show them signs and wonders. Show us all signs and wonders. Help us to get aligned with you in the most 
ah, the most intimate way, the most special way, the most productive way so that we can be used by you to do things that we weren't even, we didn't even know were on the bucket list to touch people. You didn't even, we didn't even know that we were supposed to be touching that we weren't, we didn't even know that we were meant to, to be, to be used with Lord, use us on this journey and help us open up everything so that we can walk in that light. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. You are a wonderful God. There's so many blessings around us right now. There's so many blessings. There's so many possibilities right on the brink. There's so much goodness, but the truth is it's all inside of us because of you. Praise. We praise you, God. Oh, thank you, Lord. We give you thanks. All of the blessings, all of the goodness, all of the possibilities, all of the time, everything, all of it, you are holding right inside of us, inside this glorious, beautiful, divine spark of light that it is within us throughout your Holy Spirit just raining all over us. All the secrets, all the mysteries lie within you, within your light, within your Holy Spirit, within our faith. Mm, all glory to you, God. All glory to you. We give you thanks. We give you praise. Hallelujah. 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 It is so very good to be alive. Each and every single one of us, Lord, we know has a purpose. If we are here right now at this moment, you have a divine purpose, a divine calling for us, whatever it may be to be used wherever with whoever, whatever it may be, Lord, we know that there's something for us important to do to help with this mission that you have, this mission, this divine mission of that you've always had that we see throughout the Bible of oneness, oneness through your light, through Christ's light, through your love, this mission of oneness, love, light. We are called, we are called to do unexplainable things. We are called to do unexpected things. We are called to do whatever it is you have for us, Lord. We ask you to reveal to us, even if it's in our private one-on-one -on -one time, quiet time alone with you, Lord, we ask you this week, we want to know whatever it is that you have for us to do because we are ready. We are preparing ourselves. Maybe we're not ready. I don't know, Lord. We only you know. Help us be ready. Show us the path, show us the first step, the second step, the third step. Start peeling back these things that we have been afraid to talk about, to deal with, to confront in ourselves, in our circumstances. Help us to start seeing clearly, help us to start seeing the light within us, your light within us. Help us to, to handle all these layers with care so that we can walk through with the power of I am working through us. Show us who we are in you. Remind us, remind our spirit, remind our soul, remind our hearts, remind our, our heads. So just remind us who we are in you. And help us to get onto this path of light. And as we do, we know, Lord, we will experience more and more liberation. Our soul will feel this because the truth, this truth that, that, that lies within us, that lies within this light, this truth of this, this divine union, this light, this love that lies within us, this connection, this truth will make us free we will start to experience more and more of this emancipation, this liberation from ourselves and the bondage that we have created and put on ourselves as human beings. Help us to get into a space of real true oneness with you, with your Holy Spirit, so that we may be freed, so that our souls 
can experience the freedom that we truly already have. Open our eyes so that we can see clearly, so that we can be in light. We pray, we pray, we seek you, we surrender, we give you glory, we honor you, we praise you, we just, we reverence you, we love you, we adore you, we seek you in all things, and you are just, you are the beauty in everything. You're the beauty in creation. You're the beauty in children. You're the beauty in love. You're the beauty in, in art. You are beauty, God. You are beauty, beautiful. You are just goodness. You are love. You are the hallelujah. You are the great I am. You are the essence of, of light, of love within us. You are the essence of everything that is pure, that is lovely, that is good, that is true. You are the essence, the divine spark in every connection that we have with other people that is that, that moves our soul. You are the divine connection. You are the essence of this prayer right now, connecting us all to one another. You are everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. 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 Mm. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is good. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for praying with us. Um, if anybody sees this at a later time, I pray that God blesses you through this prayer. But wow. Thank you so much. That was su it's such a, that was an exciting prayer. <laughs> oh, so that was exciting. That was just, thank you, God. That was so spiritual. That was just so encouraging. God is wonderful. Mm. Thank you, Maida. Thank you so much for praying. Such a beautiful energy that God just, they're out there. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm actually very excited after that. Wow. On that note, all right. Yes. Right. Right. Ah. That was for you too. That was for you. That was for me. <laughs> God is good. Oh, there's something good coming. Mm. Well, it's already here, but <laughs> praise God. All right. On that note, I'm going to go, um, Maybe we'll have a pop-up prayer this weekend and maybe it'll be an Instagram. You never know. I, I'm not sure, but I, it won't be too, it won't be too pop-up. <laughs> I'll try to give a little bit of notice, but um, thank you so much again for the, for the beautiful, beautiful prayers. And thank you for every, anybody else who joined in. I see there's people hiding out on there and um, we appreciate your prayers. That was such a, that was such a, God, a kick butt prayer. Let's leave it at that. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful night.